Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would like to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel and thank you for all those wonderful messages that you, that you left for me. I really enjoyed reading them. This is a general reading for Scorpio from the 6th to the 12th of August 2018. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box and if you'd like a personal video reading uh, I put the details in the description box as well. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and, uh, and leave me some messages as well because I'd like to hear from you. Okay, so I'm using the um, tea leaf oracle just for a general read of the energies and then we'll do the general reading afterwards. So the first card is the gong which says there's some sort of exciting event happening and uh, it will bring about some sort of temptation that will tempt you, something to test you and with the apple. So something coming up and uh, it will cause you to have a little bit of uh, indecisiveness, allowing your, life to ram uh, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly with the wheel. So you're being a bit indecisive at this particular moment. There's some sort of event coming up that is going to present some sort of temptation for you that will test you. So uh, maybe that will start giving you some sort of direction because maybe you've lost a little bit of focus in your life at this particular moment. But definitely something big coming up uh, in that uh, week. So in the past, you've got honor and respect will come to you and a position of authority. So you've, uh, you've got some sort of um, uh, achievement here uh, with the, um, the throne card coming in as a position of authority. So maybe you've gotten some sort of job promotion that brought a lot of honors and respect for you. So some sort of promotion coming in that gave you a lot of honors uh, and gave you a position of authority. And going into the future, there's a bell. And maybe this is the reason why you're having this gong. Maybe you're having a celebration because you've achieved this um, promotion, this, this position of authority, you get having some sort of a, a celebration for it. And um, going into the future, you've got um, the tiger doing something risky, taking a chance, and the bell, an announcement. So maybe this new exciting uh, event that is coming up for you uh, is something that you haven't done before, something risky, some sort of chance that you're taking. Maybe it's got to do with this new position that you have, this position of authority. It is, you're taking a risk at something and um, there is an announcement that will be made uh, during this particular event, some exciting announcement to be made with this bell. So whatever this event is, is giving you some sort of direction, maybe you've been indecisive about certain things, but definitely you're maybe indecisive about taking this particular risk, taking this chance. But if you take this chance, something good will come in and there is an announcement, some news coming in during this event that you're going to be celebrating. It could be a, you know, an anniversary, a birthday, a celebration of the fact that you've achieved this uh, particular um, position. Uh, it looks like you've had some sort of promotion and a lot of people have had, uh, you know, uh, you, you're getting a lot of um, renown, a lot of respect uh, from having this new position. So definitely your life taking more direction and uh, a lot of excitement coming on around you. So a week of excitement coming up for you. Let me just gather these cards. Okay, so I'm just going to do the general reading. So the main uh, energies for the spread is the Eight of Swords. You're feeling very, very restricted. Um, maybe you want to travel and you have been feeling very restricted uh, by society, by people, and also very lonely. Uh, you know, you feel very isolated, even though you're around a lot of people. You aren't being able to share your thoughts with them. Uh, you are being ignored by a lot of people, it seems. And uh, you're feeling very lonely, very isolated from the rest of the crowd. Uh, you know, you're having to uh, go it yourself, you feel, and there's nobody there to support you. Because although you're surrounded by people, uh, it, you know, this person is in a tube, uh, in, a, in a train, and uh, everybody is just doing their own thing and has not paid any attention to him. So maybe that's how you're feeling, um, that they're all minding their own business and they're not even paying attention to whatever is going on with you. You're just left there by yourself to look after yourself with nobody actually 
uh, giving you any sort of input into whatever situation you're going through. So feeling very isolated, feeling very restricted within this confines of this, you know, surrounded by people, so very hemmed in, but also um, feeling very lonely, even though you're in a crowd of people at this particular moment. So the main situation is the five of wands and uh, the youth of wands. So maybe you're in a position where there's a lot of stiff competition going on. Uh, you know, everybody's vying for the same uh, goal. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're using force to push uh, everybody out of the way. So everybody's running. There's a lot of forceful interplay of words and ideas and challenges going on over here. And, you know, it's, it's a really, um, it's, it's a really high, highly stressful situation to be in. And uh, maybe there is somebody there, uh, a younger person who is giving you some grief. Uh, maybe all the attention is being focused on this particular person and you are not being allowed to express yourself. So there might be somebody there that is getting all the attention um, and, you, and all the focus uh, within this uh, arena of a very stiff competition. And this person, because it's crossing this card, it seems to be the person that is causing all the problems uh, that you are facing. So it's causing, causing you challenges, uh, this young person or this uh, person. So you might be an older person within a job where a young person has come in uh, and is, is, you know, um, maybe outshining you a little bit and you are not really, really happy about this. And this person is somebody of, somewhat of a go-getter, trying to reach the top. Uh, their foundations are not very strong, so they're, they're building whatever it is on shaky foundations because there's a step ladder. It can fall over at any minute. Uh, but this person seems to be getting all the attention. People seem to be focusing on them, on him. And here you are facing a situation where everything is so challenging. So you're finding this in, uh, a bit difficult to deal with at this particular moment. In the past year, you've had the Ace of Wands, which shows that you know, you've got new uh, ideas, new energy, something new that you've brought into a situation and you're going with that. So a new idea has come in for you and you are working with this new idea and trying to, to make sure that you manifest this idea. And you're, you're working in a field where there's a lot of scientific investigation and discovery and going into things where there's a lot of uh, new science in it. So you've been working in a field where there's new science and you've brought in some new ideas as well within this particular field that you're working in. On your mind, what's crowning you is the Two of Swords. You've got some sort of decision to make. You don't want to communicate about it at this particular moment. You don't even want to see what the problem is. You want to isolate yourself, cut off communication with people, keep your, yourself isolated. Maybe you're trying to meditate to get some answers and solutions, but you're definitely having a dilemma here and you're trying to come to some conclusion uh, and you're having a difficult time doing that at this particular moment. And going to the future, you are the emperor person. So, you know, you will have control. You do control your environment as a future card. Uh, the, in, you know, you do control how people work. Or maybe that's where, where you want to be, uh, where you are in control of everything and, you know, setting the stage and making sure everything happens. So you want to be the director and the person who is in charge of everything. Uh, and maybe that is where you, that is um, the energy that is coming into the future. You yourself feel that you've had a lot of loss. You feel very isolated, and even um, with this card here, there is a lot of sense of isolation and being alone uh, with maybe you're facing some sort of illness, uh, and you feel that everybody has abandoned you and you are not uh, being supported enough. But there is support for you if you ask for it. So there are people that you can lean on to get you on your feet again. Uh, and if you're feeling isolated, this is how you are feeling, as opposed to exactly what is going on with the situation. There is help around you. There is somebody to help you, but you need to ask for help. So um, people around you, they will present you with uh, things with the Six of Cups. This man is getting a gift from somebody. So people are bringing in gifts of love to you uh, and are trying to make you feel a little better. You need to actually accept any kind of generosity that comes your way. Um, the Six of Cups also talks about, you know, looking at your past to try and get a feeling of how you felt when you felt good about your past situations. So, you know, maybe you have to look at these gifts that people give you as a thing that brings back the youth, um, you know, that you used to have so that you can deal with situations where there's stiff competition and a younger person is giving you a bit of grief coming, you know, uh, looking at the, the upstart of, of the situation. Uh, you know, you need to feel that sense of uh, being loved. And people will make you feel loved. They will give you gifts of support that you do need at this particular time. It's up to you to accept it. You yourself are being very vigilant. Uh, you're very worried. You're watching your back. Uh, you know, you're also an isolated man walking alone in the dark, 
looking behind him to see who's, uh, you know, trying to get come up behind him. So you are in that m mode of being a bit paranoid that people are trying to out are out to get you, and you're worried that somebody's going to, um, you know, jump jump you in the dark if you like, um, try and and and. Um, uh, trip you up when you're not looking. So you are being very vigilant at this particular moment. So going into the future, you've got the two of coins, the chariot, and the five of cups. So the two of coins uh, speaks here about trying to uh, control the energies of your material world. So in other words, if you're juggling two, uh, two situations, two job situations, if you're juggling your finances, if you're having a problem dealing or focusing on which is the most important thing you need to prioritize, center yourself and make sure you redirect your energy to the things that matter. So it's a, it's a case of prioritizing what is important to you and trying to work with that flow of energy, meditate into it and trying to bring calmness. With this man doing Tai Chi, he's trying to bring calmness and strength into his life. So with the two of coins, it usually talks about finances or making decisions involving financial issues or jobs um, or trying to... Um, multitask and not being, you know, being a bit overwhelmed by multitasking. But if you focus and center yourself, you'll be able to, to sort that particular problem out. So a need to meditate, a need to refocus, a need to replan. Planning is very, very important in that particular um, scenario. Make uh, detailed plans. Have a, a real idea about what you're going to be doing. The chariot talks about movement, so you are taking control again back of your life over here in this card. And uh, even though it seems like it's going very fast, you will be moving away from a situation of, of discord into more calmer uh, situation. But quite quickly as well, you could be moving uh, jobs, you could be changing jobs, uh, but a lot of movement coming in with this card. The chariot talks about moving home because it's a card that is ruled by cancer, so maybe moving a place, moving jobs, moving... Uh, relocating to a place of your job, um, maybe to get better financial um, control, um, but definitely some sort of movement coming and taking control, and you're doing it with quite a lot of determination and doing it quite rapidly as well. Don't lose your head. Make sure that you are completely centered. The Two of Coins says you must center yourself. You do need to focus, and you do need to make sure that you are not losing your hat as this man is losing it in this chariot card. And the last card is the Five of Cups. You are uh, very, very regretful of what happened in the past. You have a lot of regret. Uh, you don't realize that everything that has happened has happened for a purpose. And there are things that have been offered to you. There are new gifts. There are new opportunities that are on display here. But you are still crying over the regret, uh, that, you know, regretting what had happened in the past. You can't fix something that is broken. You have to just brush it up and throw it in the bin. And that's exactly what you need to do over here and turn around and use the two cups that are intact. So you need to use t talents and things that you have left behind and forget about that that you have lost. So in order to move forward with this chariot card, you need to leave that regret. Stop looking at the past and crying over what is broken and refocus your energies with this two of coins. Make sure you center yourself. That is an important thing to do in order for you to get to grips with whatever material gains that you want. So stop regretting. It is, it is a wasted emotion. Regret really is a wasted emotion. It's water under, under the bridge and you cannot change it. Just remember that it helped you grow into the person that you have become. So take those lessons with you. Don't see the regret. Okay, I'm drawing two, three cards from this um, animal tarot. And it says, uh, the first one is the Eight of Springs. You've, you've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this might feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven has sent you. So new opportunities coming in for you, especially even with this Five of Cups, it's showing you new opportunities coming to you. And you need to not be stressed out by it, but you need to re refocus and say, be grateful that you've got these opportunities presented to you. And the Ten of Autumn says, contentment comes from knowing that your finances are secure and your family's uh, material needs have been taken care of. It is important to honor traditions and have pride in your heritage and accomplishment of your ancestors. So the Ten of Autumn says that, um, you know, you should be happy. 
that you are in a good financial position at this particular moment and don't worry about things and you know there might be a, a, a need to, to look back at your family where you have been where your family has been and where have you have come to if you have progressed beyond what your family did then that is progress even if it's a small degree of progress it is a progress and you need to be happy about that and the last one is the ace of springs which says a wonderful new opportunity presents itself it might come as a surprise but you will still want to leap into action and passionately pursue, pursue every possibility so something new coming in and it's a wonderful opportunity and you need to take it you you have to get out of this mode of shutting yourself out from the world if you shut yourself from the world you will not you will not receive this new opportunity and and so you need to actually open up avenues of communication reconnect this phone that has been disconnected in this particular card open these blinds and let the light in so you know that these this opportunity comes to you and um, it's a divinely guided opportunity and you must leap into action and you must pursue this opportunity so new opportunities coming to you many not one but many opportunities coming to you and you need to stop crying and regretting about the past and embrace all these new opportunities that come and you will be the emperor where you are in control of everything of your finances of your job of your emotional life so you are reaching that particular phase you need to get out of this uh, phase of thinking that you are poor um, because uh, if you let go of that energy of poverty you will end up achieving everything that you need and you will receive gifts of love from people uh, maybe friends from the past will come and and revisit you and and give you that inspiration that you need but stop crying about the past and start moving forward with this chariot card and uh, the future will take you quite rapidly uh, into something more successful uh, according to these um, uh, this angel cat tarot cards that tells you that you know uh, these opportunities will come and heavens will send you more than one blessing so you are going to be blessed uh, with new opportunities and please don't uh, forget to take them um, let the light into your life and see these opportunities for what they are when they present themselves so I hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me a message. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.